natural for us, of course, to expect justice and also to expect that uh, if you buy land, your land will not be taken away. This is a legitimate expectation that, uh, you know, the state, and the state is us. Uh, we, we, in the judiciary, in the lands office, in the Ministry of Environment, will ensure that we safely uh, ensure that uh, people can be protected, their rights can be protected, including their economic and uh, social rights. Uh, this is the reason that the Constitution of Kenya places a premium on uh, the fundamental rights, the Bill of Rights, and the duty vested on us uh, state actors to provide the clear parameters for interaction, including directions for transformation of our institutions uh, so that we can deepen our democracy. We can combat this exclusion and inequality and protect the vulnerable in our society so that even if somebody has got just their one eighth of a piece of land, they can rest assured that they will never lose that property uh, because it will be safe and protected in our system. And if there are any dispute, they can resolve it through our multi door approach. Uh, it's called an next mediation or they can go to the court and it can be resolved expeditiously. So all of us are called to work together, state and non-state actors, uh, to pursue this uh, social transformation agenda. And that is why we encourage a very robust uh, court user uh, committee because they are truly our watchdogs. They give us feedback. They encourage us, like you are encouraging us today, uh, to keep moving on. Uh, the Environment and Land Court plays a very, very critical role in realizing the social transformation agenda by determining the disputes that relate to land and uh, environment. And CS, you are not the only one who is uh, puzzled by the land grabbers and their ingenuity. How somebody can take, um, you know, the, the the cemetery? They have also taken the courts. They have taken the courts where the court is built, and they come with gusto and say, "I am before the temple of justice." to seek an order that this rand, where this court is, is private rand. I'm like, but you have taken the temple itself now, where are you going? <laughs> when you have taken the temple now, what are we going to do? So where we are reached with this menace, I think we had to do something, and we should have no apologies at all that we must engage in these reforms that brings sanity in our society, respect for the rule of law. Is uh, Chief Justice Martha Karambu Kome all the way at the Pan African Hotel, where the national launch of the Environment and Land Court Users Committee? He, she has been able to touch on uh, the Ministry of Land Reforms uh, underway, as well as uh, the Environment and Land Courts, and also talked about embracing and encouraging court annexed mediation as a way of avoiding the court process when it comes to matters land. I have been keeping an eye on that story more on our subsequent bulletin. But before we do proceed